Stephen Adams, their veteran center, as he said it, uh, speaking up and uh, directly or indirectly, you know, talking about accountability, which brings us back to John Moran. I'll say this before we get to that. Um, you know that game a lot of people start, you know, they do this on the podcast or like who's the most famous person uh, in your phone or the co phone call that you can make right now. Most famous person in my phone is the Hall of Famer. Mark Spears. <laughs> I got Mark Spears number. My man. You got the Tom Hall Brady's of Famer. number, man. Come on, man. You got Tom uh, so Brady's what? number so in your phone. He retired. He retired. Right, we got to bow down. We got to bow down. He's, he no, passed man. his prime. He passed his prime. Man, like, first of all, really, Mark Spears, congratulations. You are a basketball Hall of Fame writer, broadcaster. This is just, it's what an amazing honor, uh, and, and we're proud of you. What was your what was your first thought when you got the news? Like, I can't wait to the press conference so I know it's for real. They don't change their mind. <laughs> <laughs> No, man, I just, um, it, 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 it makes you feel like I'm in this special class that can't be taken away. Right. Like, um, you, you I've been covering NBA for 24 years now and for them to think that highly of my work is, is the ex highest honor that you can get. And they can put my name anywhere, man. It's in there and it's going to be in there. And, um, so, but like, I think the thing that's most special was my my OGs, my peers, and like you two people that I like have extremely high uh, at atmospheric moon respect for, and so for you guys to even care and 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 feel uh, the need to tell me congrats, I mean that 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 means uh, certainly as much uh, to me as uh, anything. I just want to say I love it, Mark. I, I'm I was so happy when I saw that come across my my social media feed. From this standpoint, I feel like people in our business and people who look like us have not always gotten their due. And and me covering the NFL, I think back to guys like Ralph Wiley, um, Bill Roden, Brian Burwell. You know, folks yeah. like that, in my opinion, who should have been recognized a long time ago and have never been recognized by our our groups in terms yeah. of being in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. So when I see someone like you who has earned it, who has done it the yeah. right way, man, I'm yeah. just proud. You make us all proud, man. No, thank you. And Amen. then, like, for me, man, it was like uh, David Aldridge and, and Roscoe Nance, right? And I remember I used to, like, beg Roscoe Nance, the late, great Roscoe Nance, to just sit next to him at, like, all-star press conferences and some summer league stuff and the finals um bill roden you mentioned him like these these amazing people uh that i had an opportunity to learn from that i love dearly and you know like roscoe's not there but i feel like a piece of him gets in with me right because mm -hmm. because because he he certainly played a role david aldridge like really important people you know neil scarborough to help me get here you know i could i could rattle off a bunch of names yeah, well, we always stand names. on the shoulders yeah. of others, man. Yeah, that's right. Well, exactly. get, get, th get those names together before your speech because you leave somebody out. You don't have to put me in there, by the way, but you leave somebody <laughs> out. You might, you might, you might hear about it. But uh, let, let's talk about the uh, the news of the day, uh, the news of the last couple of days, and Shams referenced it right there. John Morant, and I know you spent some time uh, talking with him and and know what's going on with that organization. What do you think is going to happen uh, with John Morant next? That he's going to take care of himself. Um, if we don't see him the rest of the season, I get it. I understand it. And, and perhaps it's a good thing. He had a wake-up call. He, he, he got shaken. Um, he had a chance to look at himself and where he is. And, you know, it's more important than basketball right now for him. It's, it's getting his life together off the court. Um, certainly there's a lot of things that you, you, you saw from the video that are dangerous things that have happened the last couple, you know, that Washington post report, like these are unflattering things. And so I, I think for the, for the NBA, you know, we, they do so much to protect these players from a physical standpoint with this, you know, uh, we're, we're going to rest this guy. We're, 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 what do they call it now? I keep forgetting. The, I forgot the word for it. Load, load management. management. Load management. Load management. They need. They need. They need mind management and mental health management, right? Like this. 
this kid, well, he's not a kid, he's a 24 year old man. He needs to get his life together. And I'd rather him fix it now than us having a much different conversation later. I think that, uh, Mark, I think you said it perfectly. For me, I think sometimes you have to fall before you can rise. And um, this one hurt a little bit for me. And it always hurts when I see particularly a young black man who has so much in front of him kind of fall or, or you know, hit these potholes, if you will. And my question was kind of like, how do you get through to them? Like, I'm an old head mm. now. I did dumb things when I was young. So I don't yeah. know that some young guy at 24 is going to listen to me if I offer advice. And yeah. you're around the NBA, obviously, every day. How, how do we get through to these young well, players to help them fully understand? I, I, I think you're right. I don't know that he listens to us, right? But maybe he listens to a guy like Carmelo Anthony. Right. Um, I, I wrote a column in Anscape where... I detailed how Carmelo went through so many challenges, so many problems early in his career that could have derailed things in a, an extremely similar way, um, dangerous way. And um, what he ended up doing was he ended up getting a group of people together that included family, his mother, his, his then wife, Lala Anthony, uh, family friend, Bay, uh, Frazier. Then he had guys like Marcus Camby, Kenyon Martin, Brian Russell, guys that like, you know, really helped him uh, keep an eye on him off the court. Then you had like different, even people that you wouldn't know, a player liaison by the name of Dwayne Molino, uh, uh, a lady that was taking care of his day-to-day -day stuff, Marnie Colbert, uh, Asani Swan, who takes care of his business stuff now. Like he he put a team, uh, basically like this team mellow together that helped him focus on basketball, take care of the other things, and also be be honest with them. Like, bruh, you messing up, man. Nah, nah, we ain't doing that. You got bigger things. And if you look at it now, like, if you read my story, you forgot about all that stuff, right? You forgot <laughs> about all of Melo's issues. Why? Because he, you know, he, he ascended from a basketball standpoint. He got gold medals. Um, and he's like, got a wine now, right? He's, he's got all the, he got a book. He's, He's got all these different amazing things going on. He's going to be a future Hall of Famer, although, Melo, I got in before you. But that's beside the point, brother. You know, I had to give him a little something. Um, but to me, like, Melo gave him the blueprint, gave Jada a blueprint to get out of this. They, and to me, like, if I'm Memphis, sign him. Sign Carmelo Anthony. Put him in the locker room. If, if Jada Morant don't listen to Carmelo Anthony, he ain't listening to nobody. Carmelo Anthony has 10 all-star appearances. He, he's gone through hell like Jaws going through now. He'd be a phenomenal person to be next to him. And the Grizzlies are one of two teams, the other being a Thunder in the NBA, that don't have a player on their roster that's 30 years of age or older. Like, you, you can't tell me if Carmelo Anthony walks in that room that they're not going to sit up a little straighter and do things a little more uh, seriously. And I think Melo having a young son uh, and I, hey, and you guys will laugh at this. I wish I added this line to my story. I think him having a teenage son helps him know how to talk to this younger generation today too, even though he's sure. almost 40. So sure. there's nobody out there better than Melo for this team. I just don't know if Ja will be in the locker room for Melo to help for the rest of the season. All right, so you, you said that. Let, let's say I just want to... Let's go to the other one. Let's say he's out five more games. Not that anybody's putting any kind of pressure on him. But let's say he's out five more games. He comes back. I think that would you be think surprising. That, oh, I know. I, I know. But, I, I, but yeah. what I think I hear you saying, though, if you take, if I go back to basketball with Memphis, even if John Morant is there, do you think their lack of experience is going to be the thing that prevents them from going to the conference finals? Or is it, or, or you don't feel that way, because it seems like I mean, the West is tough. They're, they're all capable of beating. It. The West is tough. It, it may not have anything <laughs> other than like, hey, you, you face the Warriors at a top level and healthy, or you face the Clippers at a top level and healthy. So I'm not even gonna. But I could tell from being in that locker room, like they need a old head guidance, another head. You know, you you look at the the impact Udonis Haslam has on that locker room. UD played like one game more than me over the last three seasons, right? 
but he has that locker room in check. Iguodala has the ability now with the Warriors, even though he's not playing a lot, to talk to Jonathan Kaminga, to talk to Moses Moody, right? Um, then you look at a guy like Garrett Temple in New Orleans. You may not even remember that Garrett Temple's on the Pelicans roster. Right. That Garrett Temple is integral to keeping that that locker room in the right direction, right? To keeping that locker room afloat to to hey coach, hey man, you you might want to go go sit down with um Zion today. I, I could feel like he's a little off. I could sense something. Like I think every locker room needs an OG. They're so worried about, you know, having some guy at the end of the bench who they think may become something. You better have an OG at the end of that bench to like get this these teams right, to keep an eye on what's going on, to say, hey, this is not how we do things here. Like Udonis hey, Haslam, hey. I, I keep suiting him up until he was 55. The impact that he <laughs> has on that locker room. Yeah. And I gotta tell you, I, I gotta appreciate you, Mark and, and uh Trotter. I don't know if you know Garrett Temple's story, his story, and his father's story and oh, LSU. Amazing. I mean, amazing. Oh, what I, and I would say, uh, I know Black History Month is officially over, but it's always it's unofficially never over. going. Yeah, That's it's right. Never over. I would say all of you, uh, within the sound of my voice, do yourselves a favor. You know, look up the Temple story. Garrett Temple. The entire father. family is amazing. The entire family. Like yeah, you could do that. They need to be a thirty for thirty. Mm. You know. It really does. Mm. It really does. So it, it so back to like I I think you may be are you trying to break news here because I think you're breaking news. You're telling me that <laughs> John Morant John Morant is could be out for the season. I mean, we're talking about the regular I'm season. I'm not breaking any news. I'm not okay, breaking any right, news. But, tell me, but but flesh it out for us. So you think I'm he's just very take care of I just I just mean, think that his situation is such that perhaps they should really consider. I, I just don't see him playing until he's in a good space. I'm just speculating. I think I, can I, I, can just, I ask you this, Mark, real quick. Yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt, but do the people around him, most importantly, his family, understand that it's got to be about him first now, not about basketball, you know, and all those other things that, that come with it, whether mm -hmm. it's shoe deals or, or Powerade or whatever. Yeah. This is about getting him right. And if it means sacrificing the season, so be it. Do they understand yeah. the importance of that? I'm sure they do now. Because the golden goose could be gone, right? I mean, um, like you're watching this video now. I, I saw this for the first time the other day. And it was uh, one of my friends said, why isn't anybody? Grandma there, mom there, dad there, un unks, uncles are there. Nobody said nothing. He just doing his thing. Like not only drinking like that he was drinking but also being on social media showing everybody this you right. know but i just wonder sometimes man you know we 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 like he may not be from the hood but he's from the country right he's from south carolina and yeah. maybe maybe the family hasn't you know you get this lottery ticket you become a millionaire you, and and maybe everybody else has to grow too and, and I would never like say anything to disrespect the Morant family. T. Moran has been amazing to me. Um, and I know he's been taking some hits lately about how he's parenting and what, and, and but ultimately I, I remember this line by somebody I shouldn't quote, but Jimmy the Greek, right? Like he said that once he started making money uh, in the horse racing industry is his like dad asked him for $10,000. And so then after that, he get, after he gave it to him, his dad never paid him back. He started calling him by his first name. I think a lot of times when players, they hit this lottery that there's so many people in their lives that are scared suddenly to say something to them because they wonder if, if I'm not a yes man to them, maybe I get cut off. Maybe I don't get to be on the ride anymore. They, they like me, like I'm going to do what they like. And they seem to like me praising them and telling them they're the greatest since, uh, you know, Michael Jordan or whatever, you know, and I'm not saying his family is saying that, but, you know, hopefully there's somebody that's like, no, this ain't right. This ain't cool, you know, or maybe, maybe they were raised to think this is cool. Maybe their environment where they're from, it is cool. Right. 
but yeah. ultimately every not when, when you know that star doesn't just have to change but a lot of times the people around you have to change and if they don't then you got to get new people around you and and when it's family it hurts more but you know i think all of us have been there and this is a crisis moment for him where that whole group needs needs to be better and they need to change and and uplift him and make sure that when he comes back I, I hope i see a new john morant with a smile and appreciation and and a mental health that that is phenomenal and that he gets a standing ovation for overcoming all this rather than us God, dare I say, like talking about something like is much deeper because this is a danger point for him. And I hope I hope we don't see him play for a while because that means he's doing what he needs to do to make his life better. I don't care about the basketball stuff right now. Preach. Yeah, Preach. I, th I think. Uh, yeah, that's right, Mark. I think he will get that standing ovation. I, I don't think anybody's really against him. I haven't heard anybody say, you know, oh, I mean, uh, black Twitter oh. having a field day. Yeah, but you know, I think that is more <laughs> black. Twitter. Right, we'll talk about it, that. We'll, we'll talk about that later, though. We'll talk about that later with with uh, with Jim because he's we, he's got some comedy notes in his feed. Yeah. And I just yeah. think, you know, people, you know, we go make fun of stuff just initially yeah. just, just to laugh to keep from crying, right? Yeah, yeah. But eventually, if you look at the big picture, uh, I, I think people see the gravity uh, of the situation and really want him mm -hmm. to do well. I mean, this is like, I, I don't know. Last thing I'll say is, uh, I don't know if you had any other takeaways from that uh, players, the retired player survey, uh, David Aldridge coming full circle mm -hmm. uh, did this story and retired players were asked a number of things about today's game. And they said, who do you like enjoy? Who, who do you enjoy watching the most? And had, uh, Steph Curry, I think was one. John Morant was like two or three. Like the old heads like him too. Like he's a dynamic yeah. player. It's not like anybody is who who doesn't want to see John yeah. Morant on the court doing his thing. And so, but you want the other stuff to be figured out too. Yeah. Um, you know, he's he's still young. He still has time to turn it around. But everybody, family, and the Grizzlies, like the NBA, everybody has to uh Ja has to receive this, but the the surround everybody around him has to be better. Like the Grizzlies have to be better in making like uh, uh him accountable. You know, like yeah. even uh, like there's no statement from the Grizzlies condemning what's been going on. They don't even say it's their two game, you know, suspension. It's just like a suspension take place. Like you gotta let people know, like, hey, we have a standard, and we have to live to That's that right. standard, or. You can't play in this league. Absolutely. Mark Spears, uh, thank you for setting the standard in your profession at a high level for 24 years. We're just, uh, we're so proud of you, man. Thank Take you, Take care. Brothers. We'll talk to you soon. Love y'all. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.